Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Christy versus Kitchen. Today I wanted to do something just fun. I have been a huge fan of Cake Boss and Buddies since the beginning of his TV show and they always talk about making cannolis. So a couple years ago I actually got the opportunity to go to the original Carlos Bakeries and experience the cannolis for themselves. It was absolutely amazing. Since that trip I have not been able to stop thinking about cannolis. Cannolis are a dessert that isn't overly sweet and it's actually a cheese base. So I decided how fun it would be to try to do a copycat recipe of Buddies. So I did a bunch of research online. There's so many variations of the recipes and I actually really liked the simplicities of his best. And also, I think I'm actually maybe gonna be able to do this. Today I'm going to be testing my cooking skills and also using ingredients that I've never used before. What we're gonna need today is cinnamon, distilled white vinegar, granulated sugar, mini chocolate chips. We need some flour. And they did call for leaf lard, but I could not find leaf lard, but they did say that you could substitute it with just vegetable oil. And then we'll be using some powdered sugar and a couple eggs. It's actually pretty basic ingredients. It's the process that is pretty complicated. So I really wanna have these ready by the time Eric gets home so we can watch The Godfather and eat some cannolis and just have like a really fun Italian treat. On your mark, get set, let's bake. To begin, we are going to be making the cannoli pastry, which doesn't look too overly complicated. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw all the ingredients in the bowl and we'll know it's ready by it not sticking to its sides. And then what we'll do, we'll roll it out into little cannoli shells and we're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna fry them and hopefully everything turns out the way it's supposed to. We need one cup of flour, two tablespoons of lard or vegetable oil, tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. Need two large eggs. We're gonna braid it and just crack it right in. We need three tablespoons of sugar. Now cannolis are not the sweetest treat and so I may do some doctoring up to make them sweeter because I like my desserts sweet, like me. Or is that salty? Oh crap, we just ran into a problem. We only need one egg in here, so I gotta fish it out. I don't even know. It's supposed to just mix like this for about 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. All right, she is done. I did end up adding a little bit more flour to it because it's supposed to stick to its sides and it wasn't. So apparently that little bit of egg white did make a difference, but it did end up forming a dough. So I think we should be all set. So, okay. So what we're gonna do, we will grab some saran wrap. We're gonna airtight this and we're just gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. saw somebody on YouTube do this. So we're just gonna let that hang out for 30 minutes and we will, we'll be back. To get started with the cannoli cream, you needed to buy ricotta cheese and you had to let it sit overnight in a cheesecloth to drain all the extra liquid. I did this last night. I think the longest part was trying to find the cheesecloth in the store, but it did, it did work, I think. I mean, like there's definitely juices drained. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna throw, we're gonna throw the ricotta cheese in here, chips, sugar, and cinnamon. Okay, it's done. And I did taste test it, and it is that nice cool dessert, not overly sweet. So don't kill me at home. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar just to make it a little bit sweeter. All right, so I am going to throw this back in the fridge until the cannolis are ready to be filled. All right, here's the updated situation. These are ready to be rolled out. We're going to be wrapping them around these little contraptions 
and then we're gonna deep fry them. I already have the oil starting to heat up, so hopefully by the time these are all ready and done, that thing will be ready to, to cook them. So I've never deep fried anything in my life. So this, <laughs> this should be interesting. Okay. So these are supposed to be six inches and they are not. <laughs> But you know, what we'll do, we'll just cut them in half. If you are of Italian or Sicilian or any origin where cannolis are a part of your tradition, am I doing this right? I'm totally cool with your feedback. I just have to say, if these turn out, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so these are done, and now we're just gonna wait for them to completely cool. The next challenge will be how to get the metal out of the center, but they look good. You can see that the color looks good, so I'm happy with that. I'm so concerned I'm gonna break them. Oh, okay, well that's not good enough. I broke a little bit, but. You guys, I, I legit can't get these off. They're like, <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh, 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 we got one, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and get the ricotta cream out and let's let's fill these guys. All right, so we need a piping bag. Okay, cute, so cute. Now we are going to do a very generous dusting of powdered sugar. We did it. So when Eric gets back, we're gonna taste test them. And I think they're gonna taste good though, because I mean like the cheese is good, the bake is good. Aesthetics, I'm gonna give it more of like a passing. I'll give it a passing. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up and um, I'll see you guys a little bit later. We lost a few in the battle, oh, that's okay. We're just gonna have to make do with what we got. So, babe, holy cannoli. You were just waiting to say that. I was waiting. Yeah, I was. They look exactly like cannoli. Nailed the presentation. <laughs> okay, it tastes like exactly like cannoli. Does it? Taste. Okay. I think you nailed this for sure. For making this yourself. Thank you. Success. I appreciate that. Are they yolk? Yeah, they're not bad. I think you nailed it, babe. I don't think Carlos Bakery is going to hire me. At any point, I would hire you. Basically, do pretty much. All right, everybody. Thanks again for tuning into another episode on Christy versus Kitchen. Please like the video if you liked it. Please comment below what you would like to see next, and please make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you next time.